Welcome back to Walking the Path podcast with your host, Rogelio Diaz. And today we're going to be going into self-worth, reclaiming your self-worth. We have so many people on the spiritual path that have no idea of the value they hold. They think they're not enough. They think they're not worthy of X, Y, and Z. And it's such a lie. It's, it's like the, one of the biggest lies, the biggest stories that people on the spiritual path fall for. I remember being on a sales call and a lady telling me that she charges $30 a month for her coaching. $30 a month. That goes directly to the amount of value you see in yourself. right? And I've struggled with this myself too. But when you start to heal and continue walking this path of expansion, of healing, of going within, you start to see that there's nothing to prove. There's nothing to prove, guys. And in all reality, and I love this quote by Bob Proctor, he says, you think that you're not worthy of going after the situation, right? You think that you're not worthy of going after the good you desire. When in all reality, what you wanna do is ask if the good that you desire is worthy of you. Is that situation worthy of you, right? Are these people worthy of you? Now we're asking, better questions but until you start seeing your value you're going to keep people pleasing seeking that validation putting yourself in situations and relationships where you get mistreated where they don't see your value because you don't see your value so hopefully this is an opportunity for somebody to reclaim their self-worth you have to see that you're so much more than where you, what you are now. And there's, the thing is, guys, like there's consequences to not knowing your worth. There's so many consequences. I made a story about this the other day. You don't get the job. You don't live the dream. You don't believe in yourself. You settle for a mediocre life because that, that's all you think you're worth. You settle for low income, low standards. If you can raise it just a little bit, just a little bit and see there's so much more to you. You're going to start to see more opportunities present themselves. Less BS is going to be coming your way because you don't tolerate that anymore. But most importantly, you're going to get what you know you deserve. What you know you deserve. I remember early in my, my coaching career, <laughs> coaching journey, I gave away so many free sessions. So many free sessions. I was just, take them, freaking buy one, get, get one free, get another one free, you know? And while it was incredible, it, it was incredible to gain that experience, I also had very low self-worth because I didn't think I could get paid. I think I had to give and give like that freaking cup, right? Just take it, take the freaking glass. And then I would start to grow resentment towards myself because I'm like, why am I giving all of myself away without any exchange of value? And I think I did like 50 free calls, right? Free sessions. But it took all that. You have to go through these processes of discovering yourself. To see that you got to charge, you got to charge your value or other people are going to take advantage. And sometimes it's unconsciously, right? Because here's what I mean. They're going to be good. You know, once you, you give them the session, they're, they're happy. They're, 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 they, they feel better. They've released some stuff. But now you're energetically drained. You're the one that really takes the hit. You know what I mean? And this is what I'm referring to. 
But the more value you see in yourself, the more you start to see, hey, you know what? I earned this. I earned this. I had a client the other day that she told me, Roy, I finally charged my worth for my painting. And I was like, way to go. Way to go. That's what happens when you do the inner work. When you start to see you're enough, you're, you're more than worthy for everything. Like, it's, but not everybody's willing to take those steps, right? Point is, you reclaim your worth by what you think up here, what you feel in here, and what you do out there. Simple as that. And there's a paradigm right now that's running your life that's telling you everything you're not. But if you can see everything you're not, you start to see your truth. If you can just be with yourself, right? Like, I love being in this office. Just be with yourself. Listen to the silence. What's coming in for you? The voice of God, right? The voice of your higher self. What is it really telling you about your worth? Ask it, right? Higher self, what am I worthy of? Am I worthy of the good that I desire? Am I worthy of my dreams? And I'll never tell you no. Never. It's your ego, it's your paradigm, the limiting part of you that'll tell you no. But your true essence, <laughs> the divine operation within that wants fuller expression that want to want expansion for you it's always cheering for you it always wants you to grow to become more right so as you go out and you're walking the spiritual awakening path and you know you you're healing these wounds you start to believe that you're worthy of more than just a nine to five and just paying bills, living to survive. And you start finding a higher calling. Because you start to see the potential in you. You start to see the truth about you. How gifted you are. How talented you are. And you stop feeding the lies. The external beliefs that people have about you or the external circumstances that have made you believe your your trauma, right? Your everything that has caused you to doubt you. You start to see it for what it is. Just an opportunity to grow, right? And there's no such thing as big or small as bigger trauma or you know, from one perspective. And this this retains or goes back to the law of relativity. Nothing's big or small. Right? So you have a barrel, A, B, and C. And, and A is small, B is medium, and the C barrel is, is bigger, right? But it's really just a law of relativity. Relativity. Relative, oh my God. It's a law of relativity <laughs> that makes you believe one's bigger or smaller, smaller than the other. But in all reality, it, it's not. But you can use that. You can still use it because if you do believe, one problem is bigger than the other, one trauma is bigger than the other, you can gain more from it, right? As an entrepreneur, you, you see a big problem, you provide a big solution, you're gonna get compensated. It's gonna be a great result for you. But you'll only be able to have those kinds of ideas, to tap into that infinite intelligence be able to see the value within you right and as you reclaim your self-worth through your experiences through the way you talk to yourself the way you take care of your inner child again this is when you start to discover a higher calling and you can teach others you can teach others and help them find their worth help them see that they're more because you found it you know, you, and oftentimes your, your worth comes with your own love too, right? You, you develop more love for yourself, more compassion for yourself. But it starts with you. It starts with you, you know, like 
if you get walked on in life, if you get taken advantage of, if you're in a relationship you don't like, deep down, you feel, you feel you're not worthy of more. Why is that? Go into that. Maybe it comes from growing up, feeling like you, you never got love, so you'll, you'll do anything to receive that love. You'll abandon yourself. You'll reject yourself. You'll do anything to get that love. You'll do anything to give yourself your own love. Right? That's why people stay in, in bad relationships too. But as you start discovering the truth about you, you start to see that you don't have to accept that. You don't have to take the fucking bones from somebody else, the scraps from somebody else. You're, you're, you're good, <laughs> you know? You're, you're really good. And sometimes you gotta show yourself. You're not proving it, you're just showing yourself. You know, so it's two different things right there. But I know I'm a little bit everywhere today, guys. Just I have so much to share in regards to this. And I know once you begin seeing what you actually are, this, this higher self, this version of you that can have, be, and do anything, like life becomes amazing. I'm, I'm living it. I'm living it. But it takes, again, going through these processes to discover that. And we, it's really up to us to, see, to decide how long we want to stay in those processes. Sometimes we get the lesson twice, sometimes five times, sometimes ten. Sometimes we just need it one, right? Just one time. And I, okay, God of Spirit, yeah, this is a, uh, I see what you're trying to say, right? But either way, if you don't discover your true worth, somebody else is going to tell it for you. That's why there's that old quote, those who don't have dreams work for those who do. I remember the first time I heard that, I was like, nope, I ain't that guy. It's not going to be me. Because you have, you have to have your own dreams. You have to know that you can serve something beyond you. You have to at least try to be an entrepreneur. That's, that's just how I feel, you know? Like you at least put yourself in a position to experience that level of freedom. Even if you fail, that's okay. You're still gonna find more of your value just by even taking that leap. Just by taking that leap. But no one can do that for you, right? No one can do that for you. And if you want, if you think confidence is an issue as well, right? Because sometimes they go hand in hand too. Remember this. Confidence is a result. Meaning you don't have to have confidence to create content. You don't have to have confidence to serve something more. It's a result. It's after the fact that you do it. Just have some courage. Have some courage to press play on that freaking camera and start sharing your life, sharing your truth, something that will bring value to another person. That's it, right? And if you can, our reality, that's the only way you'll actually start giving value when you see it within you, right? When you, <laughs> you can only see other people's worth when you start seeing it within yourself because you can only meet others as deep as you've met yourself. I guess what I'm trying to say is take the jump. Take the jump and we reclaim your worth through new actions, new choices. Don't let other people tell you, right? You define you in every way. Because if you don't, there's going to be consequences. There's always consequences, right? The law of cause and effect. There's always going to be something. And maybe the lesson's going to be taught a little harsher. But you don't have to go through all that. 
don't have to go through all that. Maybe you, even even uh, if you're in a job, like just trying to get that next, a higher position, right? Because you deserve that. You worked your ass off for that. Even that alone, like that's increasing your self worth. Because you, you see more of you. You see more of you. And I always I, I always like to tell my clients like. Can you see it? Can you really see the strength you hold, the courage you hold, the value you hold? Can you really see it? And then I just sit in silence. They know. They know that they, they have it in them. And if you're listen to, listening to this right now, you know you have it in you. So what's stopping you from reclaiming your self-worth? Like really think about it. What's, what's really stopping you? What's getting in the way of you loving yourself enough to no longer tolerate X, Y, and Z? Why aren't you doing it now? Stop the video and start writing. What's the real energetic block? You want love? You want validation? What are you seeking outside of you? instead of what you should be seeking from inside, from yourself, right? It took me so long, guys. So long to really see what I was looking for. There's a song by you too, and I, I love it. It's like, still haven't found what I'm looking for. And I would always hear that song and be like, man, I haven't found what I'm looking for. And working with Mother Aya, I did. I found my own love. I found my own love. And once you do that, the enough wound starts to dissipate. The self-worth starts to increase. You start to believe in yourself. Because you no longer need that outside love or acceptance. Because you gave it to yourself. You can do that for you. You can do that for you. Write down 10, things why you, 10 reasons why you love yourself. Even that's a starting point. But I promise you. You keep looking outside for your worth. Someone's going to tell you it, and it ain't going to be what you're actually worth. So give it to yourself. It's an invitation to give it to yourself, my friends. I think that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. I hope this brought you some value. I hope this helped you. I hope this, this gave you the push that you needed to start Start believing in yourself again. To start claiming your worth again. And to stop tolerating certain things or maybe even you need to get out of a relationship, whatever it is, that you know it's weighing you down. It's not what you deserve. Do it for yourself. Nobody else. Much love. Much love, guys. And if you're looking to learn how to work one-on-one -on -one with me as well, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can hop on what's called a one-on-one -on -one higher calling discovery call where we'll go deeper into your situation, your challenges, your present day problems, and see if my coaching is a fit for you. Again, I help spiritual entrepreneurs identify, embody, and share their gifts with the world. Eight years in the making, my friends, and you're going to have access to that. All right, I would love to, to help you, to serve you. Again, just click the link in the description. I'll see you there. Divine love.